I'm making this recording today to try to explain what's happened over the last few hours uh, with me. I had a visit from the chief of uh, the general staff of the Jordanian Armed Forces this morning in which he informed me that I was not allowed to go out to communicate with people or to meet with them because that in the meetings that I had been present in or on social media relating to visits that I've made, there's been criticism of the government or the, uh, the king. I asked him if I was the one criticizing. He said no. He said, but uh, this was a warning from him, from the chief of police, and from the chief of the security services, uh, the Muhabarat, uh, that I should not leave my house, that I could only visit family, that I could not tweet, and that I could not communicate with people. Since then, a number of the people I know or my friends have been arrested. Uh, my security has been removed and the internet and phone lines have been cut. This is uh, my last form of communication, uh, satellite internet uh, that I have. And I've been informed by the company that they are instructed to cut it. So it may be the last time I'm able to communicate. As I said to the chief of staff when he came, I am not the person responsible for the breakdown in governance, for the corruption, and for the incompetence that has been prevalent in our governing structure for the last 15 to 20 years and has been getting worse by the year. I am not responsible for the lack of faith that people have in their institutions. They are responsible. Unfortunately, this country has gone from one that is, was at the forefront of the region in terms of education and healthcare, in terms of human dignity and freedoms, to one in which uh, even to criticize a small aspect of a policy leads to arrest and abuse by the security services. And it's reached the point where no one is able to speak or um, express an opinion on anything without being bullied, arrested, harassed, and threatened. This is a very sad and unfortunate turn for a country that, as I said, used to be in the forefront of the region. And the lives and futures of our children and their children are at stake if this continues. Their well-being has been put second by a ruling system that has decided that its personal interests, that its financial interests, that its corruption is more important than the lives and dignity and futures of the 10 million people that live here. I'm making this recording to make it clear that I'm not part of any conspiracy or, or, or nefarious organization or foreign backed group as is always the claim here for anyone who speaks out. I have spoken with people and tried to remain connected to people in the hope that they realize that there are members of this family who still love this country, who care for them and who will put them above all else. And so that I would, was able to remain aware and in touch with them and aware of their plight and their needs. Apparently that is a crime worthy of isolation, threats, and uh, now being cut off. I'm in my home alone with my wife, our young children, and I wanted to make this recording uh, so that it is clear to the world that what you see and hear in terms of the official line is not a reflection of the realities on the ground. Unfortunately, this country has become stymied in corruption, in nepotism, and in misrule. And the result has been the destruction or the loss of hope that is apparent in pretty much every Jordanian. The loss of hope in our future, the loss of dignity, and a life under constant threat, 
because we simply want to speak the truth or we are trying to express our concerns or our hopes for the future. I pray that all Jordanians will remember that I have always tried to serve them to the best of my ability with what limited resources I have had, that I always will, and that God willing, the situation will improve if we are able to come together and make our voice heard. Thank you.